volumes of pyramids. We're going to look at two examples here, starting with given the base area. So find the volume of the pyramid with a square base, where the area of the base is 6.4. That's convenient because the formula for volume of a pyramid is one-third times the base area times the height, or one-third a prism's volume. You will sometimes see this written for rectangular pyramids as one-third length times width times height, but length times width here is referring to the base area in the first place. So we're going to use this form of the formula just because it's a little bit easier for this problem since we're given that exact base area. So in general, when you see formulas like this, a capital letter indicates that it's a uh, something other than a length, usually some other parameter than just a side length. So we have one-third times the base area. Well, the base area is 6.4. And at the height, and notice that's meters squared, and the height is 8 meters. So meters squared times meters gives us meters cubed. And let me draw the height in here. It's 8. And all we're going to do is combine the numbers in a calculator. So we have 1 third times 6.4 times 8. Let's see what that gives us. One third times 6.4 times 8 gives us 17.1. So this will simplify into 17.1 cubic meters. Painless. Here's a pyramid problem as well, but this time we're given, if you read carefully, the perimeter of the base. So naively, some people will just plug that number right in and proceed uh, as before. Again, the other format of this formula, which may be more beneficial for this problem, is one-third length times width times height, or one-third prism volume as before, where length and width refer to these dimensions, and height for a pyramid, of course, would be the height of the pyramid. So this is a little misleading because we're given a perimeter of the base. Can't choose a color here that I'm satisfied with. The perimeter of the base is 12, so all the way around here is 12. And since this is a square, we know that all the sides are the same. In a square, you have a rhombus and rectangle combined, so congruent sides. So 12, the total perimeter, divided by the four congruent sides, gives us a side length of 3 for each side. So each side is 3 in length. So that's helpful because we can now, labeling it here, 3 by 3 by 3 by 3, actually use the formula. So we have a 3 by 3 base, perimeter of 12, still holds true, and the height, you'll notice, is 5. So that would be this height dimension right here. So plugging those in, the height is 5, the formula says 1 third times the length, which is 3, times the height, sorry, the width, which is 3, length times width times height, will give us the answer. This time we don't need a calculator because one-third of three is one, and one times three times five is 15 cubic meters.